In this micro nugget, we're going to tackle file classification. And what's this all about? Well, this is about your users in a large way. <laughs> this is because uh, users, even though they've been trained properly, will still drop files in locations on servers that they shouldn't drop them into. Uh, for example, they may have confidential documents that are always supposed to go into the top secret folder or something like this. And yet, they always wind up putting them in the public directory that everybody else can access. And then people can see other people's, I don't know, social security numbers and salaries or classified government documents or, you know, Colonel Sanders' secret chicken recipe, all that kind of stuff. So that's one kind of problem we have with these files. And the other thing is, maybe we just have really old, <laughs> ancient files in there that nobody's even looked at in 10 years, and yet they're taking up space on your, ex on your expensive SAN, and uh, you're having to look at expanding storage. Well, maybe you can save some money by moving all of that to an archive location. Let's take a look here at how we can work with some of these things. Here you can see uh, that I've got a prediction document here. It's called my next five Super Bowl champs, and here they are. You can see how unlikely these next five champs are right here. They're so unlikely that I even added another one, a sixth one, the Phoenix Suns. Yeah, they're just as likely to win the Super Bowl as any of the rest of these teams, unfortunately. <laughs> no, I'm not doing this to make you mad. Uh, okay, maybe I am. Anyway, we all know that this is not very likely for any of these teams. Uh, and if I'm wrong and any of these actually win, I should start playing the lottery because I can predict the impossible. But let's take a look here at something important with this. If we go to the properties of this document and go to security, oh, ooh, wait a minute. <laughs> we can see that everyone can see this document in the whole company. I really only want administrators, my trainer account, you know, the Phoenix bookies who are taking bets on all these. You know, I only want them to be able to see these fi this file, but yet everyone can see it. So that's a problem in terms of security. So how do I tackle that? Well, uh, I've installed here the File Server Resource Manager. You can get this through Add Remove, you know, features and all of that. Well, over here, you know, Add Roles and Features right here. You can add that in. Once you've done that, uh, then you'll have all of these things. Now, we're really only talking about the lower half of this, lower portion of this, for classification management. But you can see I've already created a classification for the Cleveland Browns. So the basic idea here is, of course, in, in real world, you'd want to search against something like top secret or search against a word like classified or social security numbers or a, a pattern number matching like, a, uh, like the digits that you would see in a social security, something like that. Anyway, here I've entered in a classification property where I'm just looking for a yes or no value. That's really all I'm doing. And this is just named to make it easy to, for me to identify and for demonstration purposes. So I'm looking for a yes, no value. That's the main idea there. And then here for the rules, I'm going to use that yes, no value to create a rule. So I'm going to, uh, again, just as arbitrary, just name that whatever I wanted to. And I am searching against a specific folder, for example. I can do that. Or just all user files or certain kinds of application files, things like that. You can just pick that out as you like. And then the classification here, I'm just going to choose, again, my property for the browns. Okay, which is basically what I ch chose up here, the classification properties that I created. I'm looking for a yes value as opposed to a no value. And on the configuration of this, I'm looking for a simple string here of case sensitive for Brown. So in other words, this will give me a hit against a capital B Browns, but it will not give me a hit against a lowercase capital B Brown, uh, lowercase B Browns. Okay. So anyway, that's what I'm looking for there. And then I'm just setting up kind of the background for how I want this to run. It's going to be a yes, no value specifically looking for the word Browns. But right now it doesn't do anything yet until I get down here into file management tasks. Here, I want to be able to change the permissions of, the f of that file. Really, we're just going to focus mostly on scope, where again, I've specified the C colon backslash confidential folder, and the action, which is going to be a permissions.bat file that I have created, and this is what the file looks like. I'm just using iCackles, which is a command line version of a uh, permissions modifier, and I'm pointing it to the specific file, and again, you can change this, to, you, know, you can point it to a f the entire folder if you want to. I'm removing inheritance, because I don't want everyone to be inherited, which is what's happening right now, and then in the next command here, I'm going to remove the everyone security group from that. Okay, so that's basically what I'm doing, and I specify which security I want it to run it against, and I look for the condition, which again is the Browns equaling yes. You can also do it on a length of time since the file was created or uh, accessed or something like that, and of course you can schedule this as well or run it continuously. So for my purposes, um, I'm just going to go ahead and run this manually. Okay, so once again, if we take a look at this, remember, let's just quickly look at this, the security we have everyone looking at that, right? We don't want that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to manually run this okay, by right-clicking on it. And 
There it goes. And then I'm going to run the file management task, and I'm just going to go ahead and run this, and it'll also give me a little HTML page that you can look at to see what the results were. Once the report comes up, if we take a look at this, we see it did run against the confidential folder in that specific file that we looked at right there. And now if I go back into this document, look at what happens. It just automatically, if we go to its properties, <laughs> maybe I need to have a, a micro nugget on how to click on stuff because I seem to be missing this a lot. Anyway, uh, then we see automatically it's removed the everyone permission. And you can see by the darker check marks that we've also removed inheritance there. So that's just one thing we could do, and you could just almost use your imagination. There's, it's almost limitless as to what different actions you could have this take. Uh, here, similarly, I'm going to go to Archive, and if we take a look at the scope, it's going to be the confidential folder again. Uh, it's going to work with file expirations under the condition of anything that's older than a day. <laughs> now, normally, of course, you'll put a longer period of time, 365 days, you know, however long you want. Uh, and you can use these other parameters as well. I'm just using that one for demonstration purposes because I want this to work immediately. So I'm going to run the file management task. I'm just going to run this one in the background this time. So it's not going to show me a, a web page and the results. But what we should see happen here is if I go back into my local hard disk and confidential, we should see that move into the archive folder. Oh, there it went. Right while I was speaking, in fact. <laughs> now let me go back to my C drive. Now we should see this in archive in the same uh, uh, situation here. It identifies the server and the date. Let me go right here, if I could continue on. There's the date. And then it will also show me the existing original file structure where it was originally located. So on the C drive, confidential, there's my next five Super Bowl champs. In this nugget, we talked about file classification. In my full series for CBT Nuggets on the 70-411 exam from Microsoft, go ahead and take a look at this to learn more about file classification as well as file quotas and file screening. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.